Good morning, Wiener. So today we got to bring Old Blue into the shop. It needs a full service. It needs a couple of airbags replaced underneath the sleeper. A stabilizer arm, I believe, needs to be replaced, and a few other things. So I've got some time. I'm in no rush. I'm gonna go drop it off with them so that they can take a look at it when they got the time. Get old blue, the TLC he deserves. We almost forgot. What do you mean we? <laughs> you forgot and I reminded you. All the days of the week are all just blending together. Almost forgot to take old blue to the shop. I remembered. I reminded you, Donnie. You also thought it was Friday. I did, it feels like a Friday. Yeah. Lose track of all the days when you're not on a regular schedule. The only reason I knew it was a Saturday is because my app reminded me that I'm 38 weeks pregnant today and I only go up another week every Saturday. So that's how I've been keeping track of time lately. All right, Blue. You ready to go and get some attention? Gotta get her full service. What should I say before? Ugh. A little bit of pampering in store for you, Blue. And we gotta get that squeak fixed. See you later, old blue. They're gonna take real good care of you, buddy. You have fun, okay? You be nice. Play well with the other trucks. Okay, I don't want any phone calls having to come pick you up. Expect a shining report card, just like Chevy's. Exactly. I'll miss you. <laughs> so, like I was saying, it's getting a full service. It's, uh... He or she? Old Blue is a he. It's a hundred percent. Okay, he's getting a service. Two new airbags underneath the sleeper. Uh, something squeaking and knocking. Like I showed you under the sleeper, that's got to be fixed. And also that tail light assembly. They're gonna see what they can come up with because I had bought it a few months ago already, but I found out that we need to weld a, a special bracket on there for it. And I don't have a welder, and I can't cut steel or anything. So I'm gonna see what they can come up with, and then they'll let me know. And other than that, uh, all the rest I'll save till later on in the year. wants us to let his brothers out of their room. Yeah. Who's in here? Oh my! They're gonna just ignore me. Yeah, ignore me. Come on, you act like we've been gone for weeks. Chevy, it's been like half an hour. <laughs> How's it going, Diesel? Did you keep them all in line? I'm not sure if I've shown you guys the finished product in our room yet, but here we go. I love the way the blue turned out. Now, blankets, we never have very fancy blankets on our bed because the dogs like to uh, share the bed with us. So we always have this top sheet on here just to protect our blankets. So that's never the fanciest for us. Though, you know, we'd like to have a fancy bedspread, but 
We'd like to have our dogs more. <laughs> I think everything turned out really well. Now the only thing we kind of messed up on is <laughs> we only got one curtain. Britt had ordered them uh, a couple days ago and you know we thought we got such a great deal on it. <laughs> She's like, $17 for a set. Turns out it was just the $17 for the one. <laughs> <laughs> so we still need to get this one here but it's already on order it'll be here tomorrow we can hang that up and uh, it'll be complete now this corner here we got the bassinet right and I thought that it was pretty plain baby's just gonna be sleeping in here for the first little while not gonna be forever right but it felt kind of plain in this corner here nothing up on the walls so Look at the sunflower picture that Britt actually painted a couple years ago. And then on this side, this was a gift from my family. Uh, was it my birthday last year? That was me when I was young. And well, that was me right there. That was our hockey team. We were the landmark blues. And then, of course, the closet doors. The previous owners before us uh, had some damage on here, I guess, before we moved in. You can sort of still see where it is. I don't know if you can see that. And I guess that went right through, through the paint. And these used to be like a, an ugly dark gray. And instead of painting the whole doors, they tried to get a paint match and failed. And just painted over just the parts that were scratched. But the paint didn't match. And it looked terrible. So I'm happy to say that we finally got <laughs> properly painted closets. And that's my side there that's open. Brits is hiding behind there. So both bedrooms are done now. Now just to do the, the rest of the house, but we'll wait a while. Got a few other things on the go. All the way from here forward needs to be painted yet. In the living room, we'll be going with this same color actually. The gray and the gray blue. So this color here is Van Cortland blue, if you're wondering. This is just a standard uh, semi-gloss white paint, interior white. This is a Stonington gray. We use the same gray in here on these walls. Same Stonington Grey, but this is an Aegean Teal, sort of like a greenish blue. Aegean Teal, I, how do you spell it? A-E-A-G-E-N, Aegean, Aegean Teal. Beautiful color, turned out really well. And the rest of the house, like I said, down in the living room is also gonna be this Van Cortland Blue along with a similar gray, but that's gonna be Revere Pewter. We'll see when I can get that done. With a newborn in here, I don't really wanna paint at all. I was able to do this room and that room before he arrived, and I could keep that room completely ventilated while we stayed in this room and vice versa. But now that he's coming in five days from when I'm filming this end clip, I mean, I'm filming this a little bit in the future, tacking this on at the end of the vlog, uh, it's just too soon. I don't want all those fumes in here. We'll wait till like summertime when we can have all the windows open all day. And then maybe Britt will take him to the grandparents for the day or for the weekend or something. And I'll just quickly slap on the paint as if it's that easy. It took me 13 hours to do that room. And I'm no professional, obviously, but I was moving pretty steady and I didn't take many breaks just to eat pretty much. 13 hours, so I'm guessing the rest of the house I'm going to take probably a good long weekend, maybe an extra long weekend. Hmm. Three to four days for me. Let's say I did one day in there. If I have everything ready and everything lined up and all the paint ready to go and everything, probably three days just for me. We'll have to see. Huh? That's, that's a problem for the future. But thanks for watching today, everybody. Short little vlog. Pretty much all we did was just bring the truck into the shop. 
I've been trying to figure out this camera and this new setup that I got going on. It's very different. Even the software that I'm using is different. So I spent pretty much all day just figuring things out, how to get my clips stabilized, how to get them onto the computer and then stabilized. Because not only are they stabilized on the camera here, they also get stabilized post production or post before production, I put it onto the computer and the computer actually has gyro data from inside this camera that stabilizes it afterwards and then I can put it into my editing program. I use Adobe Premiere Pro and then from there, once it's edited, I can render it and then put it up on the internet. So it's a bit of a longer process now, but I think it's worth it. Looking at the footage and looking back at everything and the quality of it, I think it's worth it. It's just something for me to get used to. But thanks for being patient with me. Just a couple more days. So baby gets here. I'll see you in my next vlog. Um.